But Pauleon had been as generous to her own people as she had been to ours. We needed to understand what was happening in Ashfeld. So we explored. All right, folks, welcome back to another For Honor episode. We are playing as the Orochi once again, going through the Samurai Campaign. This time we are in Ashfeld, so there's no more swamp. There's still a lot of flies buzzing around, but still we get a nice change of scenery. And today we are going to talk about games that are basically Overwatch, because that's something that is relevant to what I was doing over the weekend, so let's have some fun. I played the Lawbreakers open beta over the weekend, Strong. and it was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed my time with the game. Wait, why am I still walking? Uh, I, I enjoyed my time with the Lawbreakers open beta. It was, it was a cool game, but I walked away from it with the conclusion that it's basically Overwatch. If you want to hear more about my opinions of the game, then you can watch the videos I did about it. The links will be in the description. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I walked away from the open beta feeling like it was... Man, these guys... Okay, these guys are not playing around. They're coordinated. Uh, <laughs> it, I walked away from it with this this feeling that it was very derivative of Overwatch despite its differences and that that's such a a trigger phrase if anybody watching right now is is a fan of lawbreakers then i'm sure you are seething right now you're boiling and and you boil a little bit inside whenever anybody makes a, a comparison of overwatch to your precious lawbreakers but the, the fact of the matter is the, the games are similar but even even more than that the games even more than that, Over Overwatch is a part of gaming history that we're living through right now. And that's why it gets talked about so much. It's the same as Doom, like 20, 30 years ago or whatever. That was... Uh... Damn, how long has it been since Doom came? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, the original Doom came. God damn! The, the original Doom came out in 1993. So, the 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 intensity of Overwatch is and and the 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 impact of Overwatch is the same as the impact that Doom had 24 years ago when it first came out. It is it is it's not as groundbreaking for the simple fact that it's doing a lot of things that other games have done. But that's the whole claim to fame for it. Overwatch has has sort of perfected a formula, S similar to how Blizzard looks for ways to perfect and improve upon existing formulas. That whole company, with the exception of World of Warcraft, is about improving on existing concepts and, and just making the most marketable version of of something that already exists like hearthstone is easy version of magic the gathering with less rules so it's it, the general pop public can pick it up and not be bogged down by mana and tapping and and first strike and and all these other complicated mechanics in magic the gathering i i, I love that card game by the way uh damn i'm not gonna get to use my revenge in combat it wears off after you stop fighting for anybody that doesn't know that um yeah, Overwatch is, is is this game that that has. I feel like I almost fell in that lava, even though I don't think it's possible. I feel like I almost did, but anyway, uh, it, it 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 uh, it's a cultural statement at this point. Overwatch is is literally a a statement that has been made. It it is one of the most recognizable games in the world right now and i'm saying that based on no data but i feel like i know in my heart that it is true and i missed my arrow storm oh man that feels terrible <sighs> shit there we go Okay, this this is uh, this is a little bit tough, and I can't I can't skip these guys because I need to kill the peacekeeper as part of the objective. So I've got to I've got to focus up here because one wrong move and I'll be dead. 
She keeps dodging the zone attack. Her speed is incredible. Bakana. Nani. Impossible. I almost have revenge. There we go. This is what I've needed. I'm gonna get the, get the execute. Come on, there we go. I didn't get the execute, but it's fine. Oof. So yeah, it's 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 uh it, it's a part of gaming history at that point. Love it or hate it at, at this point, and that's why it gets talked about more than any other game, right? Because th there are a lot of noteworthy things out nowadays. Uh, and, and there have been a lot of noteworthy things uh, throughout history. But because Overwatch is a part of our history now, and we're living through that, it, it gets talked about more than anything else. And it triggers people. It triggers people. Because everybody wants the, the, the game that they like, that they're interested in, to be th its own thing. And before we continue on, I'm going to heal myself up with this banner. <clears throat> and we're going to watch some observables. Ashfeld liked to remind us of her catastrophic past. Occasionally the ground would shake and a new fire pit would appear. A warning that what had happened once can happen again. The Iron Legion lands to the south were more stable than ours. Peaceful. Ashfeld itself fought against stability. And we are all reflections of our homes. Since the war with the Vikings, the Blackstone Legion had put down seven rebellions. Martial law was the only law our people understood. By the time the samurai came to Ashfeld, the other legions were gone. Yet, the Iron Commanders continued to send us reinforcements and material. We were grateful, even if they are misguided. The life-giving aura, so powerful, so strong, so delicious. Okay, it's gone, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the little little bit of information about Ashfeld and a little bit more of Apollyon's delicious, beautiful voice. It is so amazing. I still, to this day, wish she could read me bedtime stories every single night of my life. But yeah, everybody, everybody wants the the thing that they like to become that next piece of history uh f for me I, I let me tell you something i don't have any sympathy for anybody that plays a game that's kind of like overwatch and they get that comparison because i played the ultimate game that's kind of like overwatch and that game is called battleborn and i wanted that game to be a success so badly i wanted it to be completely stripped of all the comparisons to that which will not be named on these forums it it was just i i i wanted it to be its own creation and it just wasn't because it would it really it did have similarities uh, it, it, it's the equivalent of, of of comparing star trek and star wars it's, it's the same genre uh, but just th th there are obviously differences. And the ballista over here cannot be pointed all the way down. So it looks like I've got to get my hands dirty. Let's go in the fight. And, and, and I wanted it so bad. And Battleborn, it has not become a part of gaming history in the way that I want it to. But it is definitely one of the great failures of our time. Uh, which is which is very unfortunate. Uh and, and and I almost feel bad saying saying something like that, but uh, all things considered, it just it didn't become what I think anybody imagined it would. I, I think the guys that made it thought it would have been better received than it was. I, I just think it it was objectively not as successful as it could have been because there was a lot of shit wrong with it. But I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm talking about history and and, and things. Can't let my my friend do all the work. I got to get a little execution going on. Mm, give me my sword back. You can't have it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, cause we we all want that. It's 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 just like having a, a sports team that you root for. You live in New York. You root for the Giants, and then they start losing, and 
And it feels bad. It feels like you're... The knights had been a mistake. You, you feel like you're very, your very essence is, is being corrupted w when your team is losing. And, and that's how it feels. Okay. What was that all about? <laughs> your very essence is being corrupted because your team, your thing, is losing. And that's not a good feeling. Give me my sword back. You can't have it. <laughs> so I get it. I totally get it. But at the end of the day, Lawbreakers is just a version of Overwatch. And man, this is a clown car of, of enemies coming at me right now. I think we got all of them. Holy crap. There we go. Unorganized. I saw a warden. Leading a group of knights away from the fortress. We should follow them. Apollyon's borders were open. Who had done this? Whoa? We're being sneaky. I know that one. Warden. Are they rebelling? Can they do that? Apparently they can. I think we should leave. Why? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, the comic relief never gets old in this game. <laughs> Arrow to the knee. All right, it's time for everybody's favorite type of campaign or everybody's favorite type of mission, a uh, an escort mission. We have to we have to make sure our ally doesn't die. Normally, your allies in For Honor have unlimited health, but now she has a health bar, and I have to make sure that it doesn't get completely depleted. Which means I've got to defend her against all these knights. Oh gosh. Cause I don't even I don't know if she's gonna attack that much because she's wounded. Oh gosh, guys, don't. Ah, this is gonna be tough. Or maybe not. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, you know, and and I think a, a, a part of the, the the Overwatch anger comes from just pe people are tired of that shit at this, at this point. Like, enough is enough. I'm I'm tired of hearing about Trace. Cheers, love the cavalry. Enough. Just, just let it. Ooh, just let, let it alone. Let, let's come up with something different at this time. You know, we, we, we want, we want new ideas to come out. And then when something does come out that is new, but it's not new enough, then you get the, the, the backlash stuff. You get, you, you get that those comparisons, and you get that frustration. I think, is this it? No, this is still. All right. Well, I've got all these healing banners, so we're never going to die. It's, it's no problem. They're, they're very conveniently placed healing banners. Like, he, he, I, I could put one up right now. It's like, she's taking a little damage. Boom. Just heal that shit back up. I've got two more. I got these, like, candy, man. They're giving them out for free. It's not even Halloween. Yeah, but I, but I think I think people are, are, ti are tired of it, and they are looking for, for, for something new. Cause I'm I'm definitely looking for something new. Like I I I'm tired of of the same old same old, to, to a degree. But but th but then again, I'm always kind of looking for something new. But but I I do have that coming in in the form of XCOM 2: War of the Chosen and Final Fantasy 14's new expansion. I, I do have those new things. But uh, as as far as a first-person shooter goes, there, there's nothing. 
I, I, I guess it's, it's getting a little stale. I mean, the the newest thing right now is is Titanfall two, but but I I can't play that shit anymore because it gives me headaches and Lawbreakers gives me headaches too, if I'm honest. So I may not even buy it w when I come out when it comes out for that reason. But yeah, we're we're, we're just all a little bit tired. Just a little bit tired of, of the same old, same old, and, and we want something truly different. But the industry's not giving it to us. Except for For Honor. For Honor is pretty different. But it had shitty internet connections and, and no dedicated service at the big oh, Got smacked in the face. Well, I guess I should stop talking over the cutscene. Oh, man. We are not your enemy, champion. You executed the Imperial family. We are no longer Blackstones. No! This is my fight! That was some nice choreography there. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, ooh, ooh! <laughs> He's going for it. Okay. We share the same goal, champion. All right, I, I had to, to collect my thoughts a little bit on this one. Uh, so th this is the Warden, for the first character that we played as to start off the campaign, which is which is pretty cool that, that he becomes, uh, a, like he, he is in, in his own way a, a villain to the samurai faction, especially to the Orochi, because the, the Orochi is all about fighting for his people and... and at, at the time, the warden was fighting for Apollyon. So now we have to we have to go toe to toe with him. Even though we, as as the player, we know Maybe I was wrong about that he was a good guy with good intentions. He had he had a heart and a conscience. So that's an, an interesting an, an interesting little tidbit there. Are we gonna finish him off? <laughs> <laughs> I was right. You are the Emperor's champion. Your army will find the path to the Blackstone Fortress clear. <laughs> okay. A little bit of a Moses thing going on. Good luck. I had taken my measure of that warden. Once you cross swords with someone, you know their heart. <laughs> I always hated that that metaphor or that analogy, whatever it is. But but there we go. We are com finished with mission three five, which means the final mission, the, or the next mission rather, is the last mission in the campaign. And for the last mission. We're going to have a lot of fun whooping Apollyon's ass for making us go through all this damn trouble. For what? 
just so she could make people fight. But you know what? I'm not going to talk about Apollyon right now. I'll save it for the next episode. On that note, the name of the game, it's For Honor. The name of the channel is iBlueAirJJR Gaming for Comedy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.